So let us discuss about the preparation methods of the organometallic compound or organometallic complex of main group elements. Mainly there are two types of uh, methods of uh, preparations of this type of complex. The first one is with your the reaction of metal with uh, alkyl halide or your dialkyl mercury so this one is your the first so that means uh, some metal is going to react with uh, you know metal uh, sorry the alkyl halides and uh, some metal can react with your dialkyl mercury to form the organometallic uh, compound okay this is your number one so here we already have some example so the first one is your uh, the reactions of uh, lithium so lithium can lithium can react with bromide that means the alkyl bromide in presence of so argon and they will going to give you the lithium organometallic compound and lithium bromide okay so this is one example of this type of uh, preparation pro process and the second one is your also some active metal such as magnesium can also react with alkyl bromide okay and they can form the organometallic compound RMZX so this is important so this is what Grignard reagent so we can prepare the Grignard reagent uh, in presence of the alkyl uh, halide okay so this is a very important example of the first method hmm. and third one is your metal so this is actually uh, these two are example of the reaction between the metal and your alkyl halide okay and now coming to the next point that means metal which your dialkyl mercury okay so in this case some metal can react with dialkyl mercury to give your metal organic compound okay here mercury with oxidation number zero so one very well-known example is aluminum okay aluminum can react with so two mole of aluminum can react with three mole of your dialkyl mercury to form aluminum organometallic compo uh, complex okay three so this is the example of the and there are one more example where sodium or potassium can also react with dialkyl mercury to give potassium or sometimes it is potassium plus sodium mercury okay so they were going to actually this three actually these two actually these two are basically the example of this second one that means the metal with the reaction of the metal with uh, dialkyl mercury okay so this is the first uh, type of uh, reaction by using which you can prepare the organometallic compounds of main group elements now coming to the uh, next uh, next uh, you know Type which is your uh, reaction of the metal the second one is actually reaction of metal chloride so that means in metal chloride will going to react with Grignard reagent or so but here uh, uh, this is the Grignard reagent and this lithium organometallic complex can be prepared 
from the first uh, first you know method or by using the first method we can prepare rmgx or r lithium okay so now in the second uh, method we can take them as an uh, reagent or uh, reagent we can also prepare some uh, you know uh, organometallic compound of the main group element okay so some examples are like you know barium chloride can react with this uh, rmgx rmgx and they can give you barium that means this is per2 okay that means this organometallic com compound along with your mgx cl okay this is one example of your second method and uh, also barium chloride can react with normal butane two mole of okay so be normal butane plus lithium chloride so we can get this organometallic compound okay by using the second method and the some lead sorry for lead can react with formula of C2H5Cl to form plus 3 lead sodium chloride. So basically these are your now uh, some examples of preparation of uh, the organometallic compound. So actually you have to you know, memorize this uh, you know uh, reactions. So the main point is that the first one is the reaction between the metal with with your uh, alkyl halide or the alkyl this one no? so and second one is your the reaction of the metal halide with with your uh, rmgx or R lithium. So these two are your main method by using which you can prepare the organometallic compound of main group elements. Okay. Let us discuss about the structure of some well-known organometallic compound of main group element. And basically, we will be able to discuss about the structure of lithium organometallic complex which is li4 ch3 4 okay so uh, the methyl derivative of lithium this is a methyl derivative of lithium and sodiums are actually tetrameric tetrameric means in that complex uh, they will be going to form uh, you know they, there will be four metal atom in that cluster okay for example this one is the example and here the lithium li4 will be going to form li4 will be going to form a tetrahedral cluster okay with one pyramidal methyl group so it would be your tetrahedral tetrahedral n on the tetrahedral uh, that means uh, in that uh, tetrahedral structure on one um, plane the CS3 will going to form CS3 actually CS3 will going to form um, a pyramid pyramid actually this is the basic uh, you know concept okay so lithium 4 will going to form a tetrahedral so it will be like this one so let's let's suppose <coughs> this is your one lithium ion okay and this is your one lithium and this is your one lithium Total how many four lithiums are there? Okay, so they will going to form a. They will going to form a. Tetrahedral structure. So this is your tetrahedral structure. Okay, so this is your tetrahedral structure. So that lithium four will going to form a tetrahedral. So here that means this will going to represent your. Uh, lithium. Okay, lithium. Atom. Atom. <clears throat> okay so before discussing this uh, structure 
actually uh, the lithium and CS3 bond no? this bond is actually ionic in nature ionic in nature so why the bond is ionic we will going to discuss uh, in the later part of this uh, video but uh, <coughs> suppose this is uh, your the bond is ionic in nature that means what the lithium would be your positive and CST would be your negative okay so positive and negative that means they would going to form an electrostatic uh, interaction okay then the, the bond is actually th that means this atom and this atom is actually attracted by an electrostatic uh, attraction and because of that electrostatic attraction they would going to form the ionic bond okay so if it is your lithium ion is your positive then the electronic configuration of this one is twice as zero one uh, lithium positive and uh, and this CS3 actually going to form uh, sp3 hybridized orbital three uh, four sp3 hybridized orbitals and uh, in 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 uh, amongst the uh, four sp3 hybrid orbital one will going to have uh, one lone pair one lone pair of one lone pair pair of electrons okay electrons so and this is carbon and that the other would have the other s3 sp2 will going to form bond with the atomic hydrogen okay that means atomic orbital of the hydrogen and sp3 this sp2 will going to form okay this is your uh, three uh, carbon hydrogen bond and this is your one lone pair would be there so here we already uh, said that in in the structure the lithium for probably going to form the tetrahedral okay and um, let's suppose this is your tetrahedral so here here this is your tetrahedral and let's suppose uh, let consider this plane only okay only this plane if you consider only this plane okay so the uh, so the cs3 you yeah, suppose this is your cs3 okay one minute so it is your cs3 so this cs3 will be going to form a from a pyramid on that plane okay this cs3 so this is your cs3 so this cs3 will be going to form a pyramid on that plane. so if you rotate this one then you can notice that this. So if you rotate this one, then you will see here. Here is so this is your plane and this is your pyramid actually. So this is a this is a pyramid which is uh, formed by the CS3 group on that three lithium atom. Okay, understand? Okay, so uh, so similarly, so this is for one plane now. So similarly. For the other planes also for this plane and uh, for this plan it will going to form a pyramid on that three c uh, lithium and for the backward this one let's suppose this this plan for this plan also one cst will going to form a pyramid and similarly for this plan okay for this plan also one cst will going to form a pyramid okay so this is going to form a pyramid in the big side okay so this will be in your big side so that means this will going to represent what cs3 and and this is the structure of actually your cs3 4 okay so now after this i think you understand that uh, the basic structure is what the lithium pore will going to form a tetrahedral and on uh, on the on each plane of its uh, it, each on on its plane of the tetrahedral the cs3 for cs3 will going to form pyramid okay pyramid and uh, the structure will be this one okay understand so now the thing is that um, here they will do, we are already understood that they will do give the structure but the thing is that uh, we have already considered this bond as ionic ionic bond so why ionic actually why why the bond of between the lithium positive and cst negative is ionic in nature the main thing is that 
it is actually, it is actually coming from the electronegativity difference between the lithium and carbon okay lithium and carbon because uh, the bond is between what the lithium and carbon so uh, when we are talking about the nature of this bond that means uh, we have to consider about the lithium and the carbon okay so uh, if you uh, not if you actually see the electronegativity of the carbon and lithium then you will going to notice that the electronegativity of carbon is actually higher than the electronegativity of the lithium okay so by yeah, by uh, using this the electronegativity difference we can uh, understand the nature of the bonding between the lithium and carbon okay so if you draw the energy diagram actually so here let's suppose this is your zero and here the positive direction and this is your negative direction okay so here it is your zero okay so since the carbon electronegativity is higher than lithium so let's suppose the energy of energy level of carbon is this one okay so and uh, actually the lithium will be like this why the meaning of the electro um, the relation of the electronegativity and uh, you know the bonding is what i think you know this one okay the meaning is that the elect higher electronegativity if one atom or element have has higher electronegativity means we have to apply more energy we have to apply more energy to remove one electron from the out uh, you know outer shell uh, of that um, element okay that means we have to add more energy to remove one electron from carbon than lithium so we have to add or you have to apply a little amount of energy to remove one electron from lithium that's why uh, we will get a, that's why we will get a huge or a significant energy difference between the energy level lithium and the energy level of carbon okay since the energy level between this one and this one uh, uh, the difference of since the difference since the energy the difference of energy level uh, between this lithium and carbon is high so they will going to form ionic bonds why because we know that uh, in case of covalent bond in case of covalent bond so what is covalent bond we know that to form a covalent bond the atomic orbitals of the let's suppose this is your carbon and this is your carbon so or this is your hydrogen so they will going to form what they will going to form we, we know that the bond between the carbon and hydrogen is covalent in nature why the covalent in nature because the <coughs> because actually the energy level of carbon or the electronegativity of carbon is almost similar to the electronegativity of hydrogen that's why their energy levels are also energy levels are also that means the hydrogen energy level is here okay so energy levels of carbon and hydrogen is almost similar since the energy level is similar that means what the energy of carbon is almost similar to the energy of hydrogen that means the energy of carbon is almost similar to energy of hydrogen and we know that <coughs> to overlap to overlap uh, actually to overlap this atomic orbital with this atomic orbital there are three conditions are there no? the first condition is that the energy of this atomic orbital must be similar to the energy of this um, atomic orbital second one is the you know that um, uh, what are that from group, group theory one concept is coming there that is your the symmetry the symmetry must be equal okay so a1c is going to form bone uh, with only a1c T1 you will going to overlap with only T1 you and the third one is your orientation and depending upon the orientation we are going to know whether it will going to form a, a sigma bond or a pi bond but in case of A1G it will always form sigma bond okay uh, the orientation is not going to depend on A1G symmetry okay so that means the main concept is that the C, C and carbon and hydrogen have uh, similar amount of energy because of that their electronegativity defines are similar so they will going to form a covalent bond by overlapping uh, these two or atomic orbitals but in case of this one they will have different uh, uh, different amount of what uh, they will have different amount of uh, uh, the electronegativity of uh, this one is uh, this lithium will not going to 
uh, so the electronic activity of the carbon is higher than lithium so they will going to have defined energy level and since the energy level uh, or the difference between the energy levels are significant so they will not going to overlap uh, to uh, to uh, form covalent bone and they will going to actually that mainly the electrons will going to come from this CS uh, C part okay carbon part because it electron is high enough so the electro electron will be at the carbon that means if they will going to overlap let's suppose they will this atomic orbital will going to overlap with this atomic orbital okay so they let's suppose they will going to form okay so let us discuss this one here okay so let's suppose so let's suppose this is your lithium atomic orbital and this is your <coughs> carbon atomic orbital okay so suppose they will going to overlap so if they overlap if you actually if you under, try to understand this one by using molecular orbital theory then it will be like that okay so if this lithium is going to lithium atomic orbital is going to overlap carbon atomic orbital then they will going to form uh, two molecular orbitals okay one bonding and one anti bonding okay understand so this is your atomic this is a molecular orbital of uh, carbon and lithium okay this is your bonding molecular orbit bonding and this is your anti bonding molecular orbital okay so now the thing is that from where the contribution will come actually here you see the energy of this bonding molecular orbital is uh, near uh, actually near with this carbon okay so that means that the electrons or that means the to the bonding orbit the bonding molecular orbital in the bonding actually the carbon will going to contribute to the bonding molecular orbital then lithium because lithium is far from this bonding molecular orbitals now so that's why we say that this carbon will going to uh, mainly contribute to the bonding molecular orbital okay the, the electron will come from carbon that's why it will going to form ionic bond so that means what it will going to contribute uh, to the all, only carbon will going to contribute to the bonding molecular orbitals means what then negative it will be negative and it will be positive okay so that means there will be some the interaction of lithium and carbon will be your ionic bond so this is the uh, molecular orbital uh, point of view of ionic bonds so always remember if the energy level of two atomic orbitals are uh, almost similar then they will going to give a covalent bond if the uh, if the energy difference is very high okay then they will always give ionic bond okay so this is the concept so that's why we are we say that uh, this lithium and CS3 a negative uh, this bond is actually ionic bond okay so this is actually the bonding of uh, this is actually the nature of this bond so what is the nature of this bond this nature, nature of this bond is ionic and uh, also we al already discussed that it, this is your uh, this is your one oh, okay we did not uh, we did not discuss this now so the thing is that here here um, Two electrons are there, total two electrons are, and this is your vacant. Twice as zero will be vacant. So that means here one, two, three, four. So in this case, in the, if you consider only this four, then one CS3 will going to form bond with three lithium positive, na? and this is this will be like CS3 negative. Okay. So in this CS3 negative, how many electrons will be there? Two electrons will be there. Two, one, two, actually, one lone pair will be there. Na? By using this one, is here one lone pair will be there. So one lone pair will be present at CS3 negative. Okay. And here, this three lithium ion, or sorry, uh, lithium ion. Yes, lithium ion will have twice as zero electronic configuration. That it will not have any electrons. So no electrons no electrons so there will be no any electrons in three this three lithium and one uh, lone pair that means in ch3 negative uh, two electrons will be there okay understand no? so that means in this bone in this bone actually in this four how many centers are there one two three four okay four center in this four center bone 
how many electrons would be involved two electrons would be involved okay so we said that the bond uh, the nature of this bonding is four center two electron bond okay so thus a four center two electron bond is an appropriate description of this bond okay hope you understand up to this one so similarly this is for what this is for lithium ch34 okay similarly also uh, the sodium ns na4 ch34 will going to give similar structure okay however in case of uh, lithium hexamer or uh, actually lithium will going to uh, give hexamer with uh, uh, the that means li6 octahedral cluster it will going to give octahedral cluster with uh, ethyl okay with ethyl this is methyl na? but if if lithium will going to form bond with ethyl then it will going to give you hexamer okay so this is all about the structure of uh, your lithium uh, cs34 hope you understand the bonding now coming to the uh, next structure which is your aluminium alkyls that is aluminium cs3 okay six actually they will going to give you a dimer okay so alkyl uh, aluminium alkyls are dimer so the in this uh, and the structure will be like this one cs3 there will be some bridge okay two bridge will be there aluminium carbon aluminium aluminium carbon aluminium okay and cs3 and here one cs2 here one cs3 cs3 below the plane and this is the okay so in front of the plane okay so now here uh, if you notice the structure then they will be to give a dimer which is your aluminum to c is 3 6 okay and the there will be two aluminum c is 3 aluminum bridge mm -hmm. bridges two bridges earlier and uh, in in one bridge this bridge let's suppose this if you consider this bridge then there will be one two three three center will be there okay? three center and how many electrons actually there will be two electrons will be come from c is 3 okay so two electrons that means we can uh we can say that the three center two electron bond is an appropriate description for this you know this bridge one bridge okay? okay so this is actually the structure of your um, uh, dimer uh, aluminium alkyls which is a dimer okay so this is uh, a simple example of the second example of your organometallic complex of um or actually of the metal which are in main group elements okay hope you understand uh, these 